long-awaited Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture opens to the public this weekend. There are nearly 4,000 artifacts, some of them dating back to the 18th century. Channel 2's Keith Garvin has traveled from Houston to D.C. tonight, and he's joining us live from the National Mall with a preview. Keith? Hey there, Dominique. You know, this museum behind me has been a long time coming, conceived more than 100 years ago, and finally approved by Congress in 2003. This weekend will be an important moment for our entire country. I am beyond excited. And the excitement is building now less than 48 hours away from the opening of the National Museum of African American History and Culture on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. The genesis for the museum began more than 100 years ago with black Civil War veterans formulating plans for a monument to African American contributions to our country. And it took, however, until the 21st century for us to actually get the uh, formal bill in Congress in 2003 to actually uh, develop the mandate to uh, have the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Thousands of people are expected to fill the nation's capital for the museum's opening this weekend. That includes Dwayne Tucker and Andrea Dixon, who traveled all the way from San Diego. Collectively, as a group of citizens of this country, we need to have something that everybody can come, know our history, learn about our history, our culture. We're one, and it's important to know that one culture is just important as the other and we're just sharing our history and what we as a people brought to the United States. And several Houstonians are going to be part of the ceremonies this weekend. They include Olympians Carl Lewis and Simone Manuel as, long, as well as ballerina Lauren Anderson. We're going to have the festivities covered for you this entire weekend. For now, reporting live from our nation's capital, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News.